Let's take a more detailed look on how we're going to be helping you build this risk scorecard. There are basically four phases we need to take. Step one is capturing your strategic linkages through a strategy map with priorities. Secondly, we then need to build up your risk register to identify where risks might be occurring in your organization. The third step is to assess where those risks are impacting each strategic objective. And out of this, we'll be able to provide for you a traditional heat diagram that shows where those risks are occurring. And then finally, we can take all that information along with performance metrics to build out a risk scorecard. Let's take a look at each one of these steps. So the first step, capturing the strategic linkages, is going to help you build the strategy map with their priorities. There'll be some pre-work you'll need to do in order to develop your existing strategy documents and bring those to the table. Ultimately, you'll work with a leadership team perhaps to help build out those, the strategy map and those priorities. The second step is building the rich res register. Through a risk identification framework, we'll help you surface risks if you don't have an existing risk register, or even validate those you have if you do have a risk register. The output of this phase will be a traditional risk register, which includes a list of your key strategic risks. From there, we'll assess your risks. We'll be taking a look at each risk and its impact on each strategic objective. And based on your priorities, we'll be able to determine where the most volatile risks exist in your organization. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean they're occurring. The final step will help reveal that by adding performance measures to this framework and building it out as a scorecard, we'll be able to build up a, a radar device, a sonar capability inside your organization to see, based on performance, where risk may be beginning to occur. Now, this work is designed so you can do it by yourself, or you may want to do it in conjunction with teams inside your organization. Typically, three teams can get involved. The leadership team, the, you know, the senior team responsible for the scope of area that you're going to be looking at. The risk team. These are people that are typically well-versed in the risks associated with your industry and your organization. And finally, a scorecard team. This is typically people that have process expertise and understand where processes exist and measures inside your organization. In smaller organizations, you may find all three teams are the same people. And in larger team organizations, of course, there, these may be three distinct teams. And in that situation, your challenge is to make sure they're aligned as they go through these activities. If you're doing it by yourself, you will be wearing all three hats during this process.